All right. This week, you are going to be working on multimedia. It is a relatively short unit, only five pages in your book. Uh, so the lecture demo is a little has a little bit more information. I did include some background information on creating audio files because uh, if you start using audio, chances are you're going to be doing some editing and you do need to have a, this background information because it affects the size. So we go through that. We go through the different uh, sound formats that you can find online. And then I also include some links to royalty-free sound. Uh, then we cover how to link a sound file and how to embed a sound file using the new HTML5 audio tag. It is standard practice when you embed that you include multiple source files, which is why you'll have to take one sound file and save it into different formats. The audio uh, tag has several different attributes, loop and autoplay. And so this describes how to use those. And if you want to hear an embedded uh, audio, I've got one here for you. And I also have an example of a linked file. Uh, for converting your file to different formats, what I use for audio is Audacity. So it's free and I have a link here for it. You could also choose to go to Cloud Convert. Uh, what Cloud Convert does is it will put the converted file in your Google Drive. That's typically how it handles that. You can also use Cloud Convert for video. And I do use Cloud Convert for video. I don't for audio, I use Audacity, okay? But you guys are free to use whatever you want. If you have other software that you use, uh, you can use that as well. Uh, for media playback, if you do not have a media player on your computer, you can get the VLC player free, and this is a link to it. As far as video goes, uh, if you start doing a lot of video, you are probably going to want to do some editing. So I did include a link to the top 10 editing software programs. And we talk a little bit about how uh, videos are created and what are the formats that you will find online. Linking to videos is the same as linking to anything else. So we cover how to do that and how to embed. And you can embed video with the video tag. And there are several attributes for that tag that you can use. And like audio, it is standard practice to include three different source files because not everyone's computer supports every type of file. So by including three different ones, you're ensuring that all the users will be able to see your video. And so here is an example, and you can see I've got this in three different formats. And again, to convert the video, uh, I do use Cloud Convert. Cloud Convert no longer handles AUG. That used to be a kind of an up and coming format, which is explained uh, above, but it no longer handles that. Uh, they may have added it. I haven't looked at it within the last couple months. Um, so it may or may not be there. I do have some videos uh, showing you how to use Google Drive and Cloud Convert. Uh, because as I mentioned, when you use Cloud Convert, it does save your file to Google Drive. And as far as uh, coding the width and the height, because you will notice that the width and the height are specified. If you right click on your video file and you go into properties, typically the detail section will tell you what the width and height are. However, if, 
you cannot find the width and height, then what I would do is pick a width. I would probably choose like 500 pixels, set the height to auto, and then your video will remain proportional. What you don't want to do is make a guess, and then it's going to look like a fun house mirror, <laughs> so, which is not a good look. So um, if you set the width and make the height auto, should keep your video in proportion. Uh, another way to add video that is really popular is to use an iframe. And so this is an example of an iframe. It is how you would add a YouTube video into your page. Okay, so anytime you wanna add somebody else's video, you can use an iframe. And there's a real easy way to figure out what the source should be. If you look at the URL where it's got V equals, whatever follows that, you can kind of tack onto the end of this URL. So it should be HTTPS, uh, www.youtube.com slash embed slash, and then the sequence of letters and numbers. Also in YouTube, uh, you can hit share. And hit embed. And you can simply copy and paste this code because that has all the iframe information that you need. Uh, this last little section talks about um, subtitles, captions, and other text files. And the most important piece of information in this section is the track tag. So you'll notice that we have a video and it's a Forrest Gump video. We've got a couple different sources and we have track tags. So this is used for subtitles and it makes your video ADA compliant. The, that is the key point here. So if you want to make your video ADA compliant, it needs to have subtitles, and the track tag is one way of getting those subtitles in there. That will be, probably will be on your certification exam. Now, once you finish working through this, then you are going to do the textbook assignment. The textbook assignment is fairly directive. Uh, pretty much everything you need to use, you will be downloading. So you'll download your page and all the graphics, all the audio files, all the video files. So your focus is going to be on adding the embedded audio and video and adding the links. I also have you add a YouTube iframe just so you can become familiar with that. The lab assignment involves creating your own multimedia page. And I do have an example, but this is actually more than you need to, to have on your page. Um, you do need an embedded sound, which I have. Uh, you do need links to three sound files. Now, what you can do is take one of your sound files and save it to two different formats. That can be your three links. If you do not save to different formats, then you need three different links. Okay, so you can either take one file, save it a couple different ways, or you can take three different files. Uh, then you need three video links, and I actually have four. So uh, the, the first one is to a YouTube video, and these are all different versions of this embedded video. So if you made your own video, it is okay to save it in three different formats and use those for your video links. It is also okay to take your own video and use it for the embedded video. 
Okay, but you do need to have an embedded video. And if you want to go to YouTube and use an iframe, that is perfectly okay, okay. And it counts as an embedded video. So that is the lab assignment. You do need to add your zoo multimedia to the uh, textbook assignment section and your regular multimedia to the lab assignment section. And make sure you transfer everything, the files and all of the multimedia. And once you're done with all of that, you're gonna take our first exam. And this first exam is, I believe, 50 questions or 50 points. And there are a variety of question types in here because the MTA exam is not just true, false, and multiple choice. The MTA exam has multiple choice, multiple answer. Uh, it'll say like pick three or pick two. So I've done that so you can get used to that. Uh, the MTA has ordering questions where you take blocks of code and you put them in the correct order. Uh, so I tried to mimic those questions as closely as I could. So these exams are going to be a little bit more difficult than what you're used to. Uh, they don't have a time limit. They are open book, open note, but you cannot redo them. So you can only take it once. Oh, and the total number of points on this particular one is 60. So what I've done on the more difficult questions is I've assigned them more points. So the questions are worth one to two points with the more difficult questions being worth two. And what I typically do after a class takes a test is I do look at the results. And if 75% of you miss the question or more, uh, then I throw it out. Okay, so it's not unusual after you take a test to see a couple more points after I have analyzed the results. If you run into problems or have questions, please let me know. And I think you guys are going to have fun with this because multimedia, putting that in your pages is a lot of fun.